Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to be talking all about selenite. I think everybody, maybe not everybody, but most people would know selenite to see this at a crystal shop. It's pretty common and it's actually pretty cheap to buy selenite. So selenite, selenite, there's a couple different things it does, but right off the bat, it's a great cleanser. The way I view selenite, well, there's three facets to it, but I view it as the ultimate cleanser. It's, it's kind of like a piece of soap. It, that's the way I view it. So what exactly is it cleaning? Not, not, don't take it in the shower with you probably be a little painful but that's not the kind of soap we're talking about we're talking about soap for the body for the mind and the soul so selenite is perfect for cleansing and clearing the body the mind and the soul and it will unblock all that stagnant energy you have um, any type of negative energy and a lot of times, all that gunk gets stuck all throughout your energy system. Whether you believe you have an energy system or you don't, it's there. And using selenite just brings in a beautiful, radiant white light. And it will just travel through your entire energy body from your crown chakra down through all your chakras, right to your root chakra, and it will unblock anything stagnant. It's great to work with, and it's easy to work with. So, as you can see, it looks almost like a piece of glass. It is translucent. It's kind, it kind of reminds me of fiber optics, the way it they run. Like, in this big log, you could kind of see what I'm talking about. It runs almost like little individual strands in a way, almost like fiber optic lighting. But there's different variations. I don't have any polish to show you, but most commonly you're going to find it in these type of towers. And again, very inexpensive. It's, it's, a, it's beautiful and it's, Great to have throughout your entire house, and I'll explain why in a minute. But first is first, talking about it, treat it like a piece of soap. It will clear all that stagnant energy, all that negative energy. And the best part is it won't also, it doesn't also just clear, it will use, it'll create like a bubble around you, like a shield, like a pretty powerful shield and it can protect not only the person but the space it's in so that's kind of what i'm getting into selenite can definitely protect an entire room and the great part is you could put this throughout your entire house or each you know each room you have some selenite i actually have this everywhere i have my entire house gridded in selenite towers in little in if you pull out like a, a dresser or something in a corner chances are you're going to find a selenite tower in the corner about this size <laughs> just doing its thing yeah i guess you could say i'm pretty crazy but this is <laughs> i am the crystal whisperer so expect this of me but i have my entire house gridded in selenite i actually have on my front porch two pieces of selenite i bought these at a local rock shop they have to be two to three hundred pounds each one is ma massive they're both massive but i have them as pillars on each side of my doorway <laughs> i might have to get a picture of that and, and post it but just love selenite easy to work with so once again, first thing we're talking about is using it like a piece of soap. It's very cleansing. And when you work with it, 
it also brings a very calm sensation over you. Very peaceful energy when working with this. It's extremely high vibrational. Don't think it's, you know, not because it's uh, on the cheaper side. If you go to a crystal shop, you could probably get a, a pretty big piece of selenite for, you know, $20, $30. And just because it's cheap doesn't mean that it doesn't work and it's not extremely high vibrational. It is fantastic. And it's essential for use in the crystal community for other reasons, which I'm about to get into. So like I said, it opens the crown chakra. It aids in meditation and spiritual work. It's going to go and just refresh and remove all that negative energy you have stuck and stagnated and all just clustered up throughout your, your uh, energy body. So it opens the crown chakra and it just, boom, it's going to go right through everything. And it'll align all your chakras. You could use it. Uh, one way, one great way to use it is, let me see, these two are about the same size. If you hold one in each palm during, uh, when you're meditating, and holding two pieces of selenite is a great way to balance your entire energy body. I mean, honestly, that's very common in Reiki. Uh, if you go to a Reiki specialist, they're going to be definitely using selenite. Uh, a lot of people even use them in wand form. Uh, I'm sure you've seen, this is technically a log. It's heavy. It's called a selenite log, but a lot of times they'll be about this big. I do have them somewhere. I don't know where, but in little wand strips where you can actually essentially wave that over your entire body as you're working with it. And it's you, like a wand. I mean, it's going to go through and just clear as you're using it. So what else does this do? It's, and the thing is when you're done with it too, after you're done meditating with this, and especially if you grab these two and tune yourself, you're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel brighter. You're going to feel more happy. You're going to feel more uplifted. All of that, just from working with this from a short duration. It's going to definitely raise your vibration, and you'll connect with it. Trust me. It's like pure white light just emanating through your entire being. Um, it's going to raise your vibration. The other thing it does, too, is it gonna, it's going to ease more easily help you connect with your higher self and receive guidance from the spiritual realm, whether it's the angels, uh, spirit guides, whatever. But you're not going to get any kind of junk in terms of negative entities. This is going to repel anything like that and bring in all the good stuff, all the good information. Anything you, you receive in a transmission is going to be from a good place in a good, positive, behind it is going to be someone, something good and positive in the spiritual realm. It's definitely going to repel all the negative entities and whatever else that can mess with you. So great to have. I Like I said, I have this all over my house. And then the next reason why I have this all over my house is because I have crystals everywhere. Every room in my house, I have crystals. I have shelves all over from my bedroom to my living room to my everywhere. Every single room has crystals loaded. Even my daughter's room, I slowly kept giving her crystals and they're just everywhere. So this amplifies all the energy of any other stone, any other crystal selenite will amplify that crystal's energy and that is very important i mean what other crystals do that there are some but selenite that's why i have even if you have little pieces of it i put them on the shelves mixed in with my entire collection and it just amplifies everything around it and 
I don't know if you've ever seen selenite charging plates. Now, when you're talking amplify, you're also talking charging, uh, amplification and charging. I kind of go with the same thing. It's anything that it's near, it's going to be pumping that same energy that goes into your energy body into that crystal next to it. So if you're working with a rose quartz, it's going to amplify it. If you're working with vanadinite or amazonite, anything, it's going to boost the energy of that stone. And that's why a lot of times you'll see people that have selenite charging plates. I don't have a polished charging plate, but check this guy out. I also have another one that's three times the size. I don't know where it is. Every time I look for stuff, I can't find it. And I don't know how I can't find a huge, thin piece of selenite, but it's, this is natural selenite. Look at that. Look at the, I mean, it's like looking through a piece of glass, almost. Just beautiful stuff. And if you use this with, what, like I said, whatever, you're using, you're working with a piece of rose quartz and you lay it on here. I'm at an angle a little bit, so it's going to fall. But overnight, within a few hours, actually, it's going to charge whatever's on there. And a lot of time, people that do use crystals uh, frequently will leave them sitting on a selenite charging plate. And that's the reason why, because it's going to just keep amplifying that energy and it's going to charge them up all by itself using this overnight. So I'm not even going to attempt to put it back there. I'm going to put this off to the side. I don't want to break it. Um, so that's another one that's great. Now, a lot of things, if you, th now this is my, more of my opinion, but a lot of people, if you research and work with selenite, you're going to say, you're going to hear, you don't need to cleanse it. it. It cleanses itself. It's partially true, but no, it's false. If you're, you, you're using this and it's going to, like I said, it's going to bust through all that stagnant energy. What it does is it almost draws it, well, it does draw it out. So it's going to go in to the selenite. Any of that negative energy, any of that stagnant energy, it's going to pull it in. Um, it also does repel, but I would 100% before you start working with it to cleanse it and then put it on your shelf. It's not like you have to run around every single day charging up in, you know, your, your selenite. Once it's cleansed and it's in a pretty good spot, Unless you're really emanating just crappy energy all the time, you're going to be in a pretty good spot where it's going to be able to sit on your shelf for a while and and keep the good juice flowing from it. But I would recommend before using this, especially if you're putting it on your body, uh, using it as a wand, whatever, I would definitely cleanse it and get rid of anything that's attached to it because it could attach to it. So, well, one other thing, too, I keep a piece of this. Actually, it's probably one of these towers I uh, this size. Right next to your bed stand, your nightstand, I keep one of these guys. And the reason is it encourages just a calm, peaceful sleep. And soothing dreams, dreams that aren't, you know, nightmares, whatever, It'll keep all that from bay, at bay and really give you just a good, calm, cleansed feeling when you wake up and very easy to use. I would also easily recommend this for jewelry. If you're using this in jewelry, it's, you know, it looks beautiful. Uh, it could be worked into uh pendants and, and all different types of stuff. So it's another very easy way to use it. But that's everything there is to know about selenite. There's one more thing, which is fantastic. And I wish I had a selenite charging plate, like a polished one. They're usually circular, about a half inch, three quarters inch in, in thickness. And uh, they're great for People that do crystal grid work 
and you leave your crystals on the charging plate. So if this is your charging plate, you're leaving them out and it's great for manifestation. And if I had a charging plate, what I would do, if you're using it for manifestation, write your intention down. As you're writing, it creates a connection. It's important that you're focused 100% while you're writing it. Maybe you want to write it a few times. Leave your intention on a selenite charging plate. Very easy way to do manifestation. You're, you're essentially leaving your intention on a plate that's going to be constantly amplifying its energy and sending it out into the universe. That is exactly what you want for manifestation. I mean, exactly what you're looking for. It's kind of like a little wish board. You put, you put down your intention, put it on there, and just leave it be. And it will just keep pumping out and amplifying that intention. Also, I would definitely charge up some quartz, just regular clear quartz, which you can program, leave it all around your intention, and watch the magic happen. Great for manifestation as well. And something that's very easy. A lot of times people overcomplicate manifestation. This selenite is a very easy way to manifest desires. And I think that's about it. There, I did want to show you one piece of selenite that's my favorite, and I'm a little bit scared here because it's very delicate, and the base of this thing is very fragile, and this is pretty darn expensive too. So let me show you this guy. Please, I don't want to break this thing. So look at this, and it sits on its own little base filled with quartz and I even think there's some amethyst running through here it is phenomenal and I'm, I'm going to go real slow here but you can get lost looking in this it's like looking into another world as you as you look through this piece and one of my favorites but I do keep this up pretty high on a shelf. I don't really work with this because it's so fragile, but it is one of my favorite pieces of selenite and it is just beautiful. I just wanted to share that with you. But, and you could actually see down here a little bit of the purple and the amethyst actually running through. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. All right, I'm not touching it, leaving it go. That's about it for this week. All about selenite. Go get some selenite. And it's cheap too, which is great. Easy to work with. See you guys next week.